Hi and welcome or welcome back to the Big Net Energy YouTube channel. My name's Sammy and this is day 17 of Vlogmas. Um, so I've been up for a little over an hour. Finally brushed my hair though. Um, and I've got about two hours until I have to leave to the dentist. So I'm gonna open day five of my Super Glow Cosmic Dust 12 day advent. And then I'm gonna unbox my Dean and Bean sock machine. Um, and then I don't know how far I'll get in putting it together, um, but when I come back from the dentist, I'll probably put it together. I also need to get stuff ready to go to the post office. So I'll show you guys that too. All right, uh, let's open up day five. Here is day five. This one is pink and purple, very pink and purple, with some blue speckles and some yellow speckles. There it is. Oops, oops, oops. Very cool. So, there they are, all five are next to each other. I think this will make such a cool blanket. These I already showed you, this little weaving kit from that I got from my local yarn store um, from Black Sheep Goods. And then this uh, nesting bowls making kit that I got. This is for my mom and my sister. And then also to the post office, I need to take these three minis. Um, these are for Witch and Knit and Mama on Instagram, who is Nicole. And these are for her um, coziest memory blanket that she wants to make with minis from different states. So this one is Cascade Yarn. So it's from Washington. Um, it's from Seattle, Washington. And then this one is Stitch, Get, Stitch Together Studios, so it's from Iowa. And then this one, I dyed, so I'll say it's from California, because I dyed it in California. So I'm just gonna include the yarn labels because I remember what the scraps I have left over are. I just wound uh, her off 10 grams of all of the scraps. And then this one, um, which is one of the two tags I got with my December yarnable, I will uh, attach to the one I dyed so I can mark where it's from. Um, the other two labels say where they're from, so yeah. All right, so there is my little setup for Nicole. Looks pretty cute. And I also wanted to have done my Sophie shawl. Um, so I could send that, but it is not done yet. So maybe I'll send it tomorrow. I'm not going to block it. It's already big and what was I saying? Yeah, it's garter stitch. So it's not like it would look better if I blocked it. So, um, yeah, let's. Start opening that DMB sock machine. All right, so first thing, it looks like we have some cones. Um, I know they recommend that you wind your yarn onto cones to use it. I probably won't do that. Cones over there. Okay. This is the river package, it looks like. And it says what parts are in here. This is Winnie.
no. That's mine. No. This looks like the main body of it. different um, cylinder sizes. I got a 60 stitch and a 72 stitch. So, oh, that's nice. So they have it like set in the number. So this is a 72 stitch. Uh, Winnie's licking this one also. Thanks. Yeah. It says spare parts. Uh, oh, okay. I recognize this one. I don't recognize the other ones yet. And then these are the bonnets for starting. And they also hold the weights. So I guess to start, you hang these little silver rings. So this is the 72 stitch bonnet and um, you can just drop your weight in there. I guess you need the right weight to get the tension. Um, and this is the 60 stitch bonnet. That's pretty cute actually. Adorable. Here's the Essentials Toolkit. Let me finish taking everything out of the bag and then I'll take this open. Or out of the box. Oh. And then these are definitely the weights. So we have three weights. I can take this out of the bag because I don't need the label. I think this is the medium one. This is the small one. This is the oh, big daddy. And then here we have accessories. And this is the heel fork. I don't know if I plan on doing heels until I get pretty comfortable with the machine, so until then I'll just knit afterthought heels. So let's look at this first. And I can put it off to the side. Oh. What the heck? Well, I don't know what these are really. Okay. Uh, I'm gonna put these back in the box. There's three of them.
accessories. So this says, thank you for your purchase. As a token of our appreciation, we've included a free crescent tool for lifting needles. Scan this QR code to get instructions for setting up and using your machine. So I'll just have to visit the website so I can still film on my phone. Now we have some little C clamps. Um, a stick? Question mark. This is the light for the top of the tower. A cord for the light. I think this is the yarn mast. I just don't really know how it works. There's some little tools, there's a small screwdriver. There's whatever this is. or something. Ravel cords? I don't know what ravel cords are for. Some stitch markers. Tapestry needle. Hey, I have no idea what this is. don't know what this is. But there's two of them. Different sizes. Okay. Oh, this is to hold the light cord to the mast, I think. Then I have some compound needles. Gave me 140 of them, it looks like. Oh. These three things are wrench tools. That's good. That says it on here. Since this is spare parts, I'm not going to open these right now because I should have all of these on there already since these are spare? I don't know. This is Essential Toolkit. So this is counting the three heel forks that are in the box. The cardboard cones. I think this is probably the yarn winder. I just don't know how to use it. A ruler. It's very cute. Can't even see it on the cover. Here's the watch, loom, and pick tool set. Here's the scissors. You can never have too many tiny scissors. Tweezers. And here are the weighted clips, which I think are for like holding your yarn in when you're changing yarns. Okay, so these are the river things. So I'm not really going to leave them out, but I will show you. So this is the 30, which I think goes with the 60 stitch. 
this is the 36, which goes with the 72 stitch. Oh, this is for, this is all the parts that are on this river dial. So you can see these ones are much shorter. And then I am assuming these go in here to hold the river dial onto the main assembly. All right, so that's it for the unboxing. I'm going to pull up the video on how to set it up on my phone, or no, on my computer. so far I've done everything that um well no so far I've been following the directions on the website they give you and it first just says to secure the box to the table and then it says to add the mast or the dowel and the yarn mast oh there we go but that's better um now I'm gonna see what the next step is and I'll try to be better about talking through what I'm doing actually that's all it says about the setup um, which is kind of crazy, but it wants me to mark stuff on the, the the cylinder. This is the main mark, I guess, and it wants me to make other marks, like a halfway mark and two other ones. I don't really know. So it's halfway. Four. I have to count. So I pulled up that PDF they give you on how to know where to put your marks. So I'm gonna do my target marks in orange. They recommend using nail polish. And this one is supposed to be 10 needles away from the main mark. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. I'm gonna mark it here. And it said to mark it up the side so you can always see it. And then the next one is also a target mark, which should be 10 needles away from that one. Yeah, just double checking the PDF. So 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. Oh, that's a thick coat. Let me wipe some of that off. <laughs> There we go. <laughs> this is weird. Okay, and next is going to be the halfway mark, which is going to be another 10 needles away from that. And I'm going to use a weird sagey green for this one. Six, seven, eight, nine, ten. 
Oh no. Too much, way too much. I need to grab a napkin. Oh wait, I have a piece of fabric right here I can use. A little scrap fabric to the rescue. That's probably a better amount. Maybe I should try to dab some off this one too. It's a little thick down the wall there. I am also as good at painting my nails. Alright, so I'm gonna go 10 needles from that one and do another target mark in orange. 10 needles from that one and do another target mark in orange, and that should be 10 needles from the main mark. Let me wipe off most of this. Don't keep having the same problem. Okay. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. One, two, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Okay, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Okay, just wanted to double check. And now, even though I don't know when I plan on doing heel turn marks, I'm going to mark the heel turn marks in this purple. Oh, sorry, not heel turn, wedge heel marks. So I want them to like here-ish. So it's gonna be five needles from this one and five needles from this one. And this is kind of a sheer nail polish, so two, three, four, five. We'll see how good it shows up. Very light. I can do a second coat, I guess. Man, I got that one all on the inside too. One, two, three, four, five. Another piece of scrap fabric. I'll wait for that to dry and then do another one. Um, in the meantime, I'm going to mark the same stuff on my 72 stitch cylinder. All right, so I'm just gonna put the light on here, or try to at least. I went and got this power brick that I already had since they only give you a USB cord. It comes with a cord too, but the cord is a lot shorter. Let's see. I'm gonna plug it in. Oh. Oops. And then I think it goes on like this. I'm not really sure. Is that what? Oh no, it looks better. I couldn't find one single video that showed you, or like even a picture that shows you to install the needles on their website or their YouTube channel. I don't know if I'm missing it or not, but I'm pretty sure I can probably figure it out. So we're gonna see right now. Well, oh, maybe I can't. Oh, let me grab one of the tools. I'm going to use this one to pull the spring away and then slide this in that way and then flip it up like that and then it's bottomed out now. Is that right? I have no idea. 
me go look at a picture of the machine. Okay, so I think that's it, actually. I think it's that easy. So I'm just gonna pull this one forward a little bit and insert this one. And sorry if that's loud. I'm gonna take a bunch of these out at a time. So I can just grab them. Let me grab my stool. So they have these little things. I don't know how those operate or anything like that. Once I get all the needles installed, I'll give it a spin and see what it does. They're magneted together. Interesting. This is so cool. I'm already excited about it. Okay, so I've got all the needles in. I've already saw a little bit of what it does, but I'm gonna crank it around. We're already at the main line and see what happens. Now that the needles are in, it doesn't crank backwards, which I've heard other people complain about Dean and Dean sock machines when they tried to crank it backwards. But, um, I do have to go to the dentist soon. I'm not sure exactly what time it is now, but I think it's getting pretty close. So I'm gonna go get changed and get ready to go, and then when I come back, I will try cranking something on this. I still don't know what these little arms do, if anything. Very cool. Oh, it gets brighter. Oh, it gets really bright. Wow. All right, so I'm back from the post office and the dentist. I didn't go to the store um because i want to go to costco so i'm going to do that probably close to when they close so that it's hopefully less busy um and i am back and i want to try that well, i can't point try that one so i watched a couple videos I watched a video on how to wind your yarn on the cone and it is that li weird little rubber thing here i'll show you so I guess you're supposed to put this end right here in a drill and then this rubber end in the cone and you're supposed to wind your yarn on the cone that way. But I don't feel like doing that to start out. 
So I'm going to pull from the outside of this cake because I think it will give a similar effect. And this is some leftover yarn I have for my salty air tea. It is, let me turn so you guys can see. It is Wanderluck Fibers. You see that? And this is the sock base, which is 75% superwash merino, 25% nylon. And this is a colorway daylily. So there's the color in the light now. And that, I don't know if you guys remember, but there's like the smallest hint of like orange speckles in this, like the tiniest bit. So I grabbed out two minis from uh, Crafted by the Fates. This was from her summer um, mini set. So these are two 10 gram minis. And I think I will do the um, heels, cuffs, and toes with this. But I gotta figure out how to crank the tube first. So I watched a video on loading the bonnet onto there and you put it on every other needle and then needle um yeah it's there right needle and then you use one of these little clips to go and you drop your yarn tail down in the center of the bonnet with that and then um you put your weight on top and so i'm going to try it i'm gonna give it a shot isn't this wide? Because that's like a big sock. And that's, this is a smaller thing. So, wish me luck. So you're supposed to put a ring on every other needle. Let's pop this in there. I'm going to start on, with the first one. I don't know if you're supposed to start with the first one. Are you supposed to? And it said to make sure all these little arms are down. I wonder if this is what those this is what those tools are for. Okay, so this is gonna be really trial and error, but they said if you're um just knitting a wreath or tube and you're not knitting back and forth like for heels or toes or whatever then you don't need to go under this and I don't really know what this is for yet so then it said to bring it down um this way and to go here and to go pull it right and go under that little thing and then I guess you go like this. Oh wait. No, I'm sorry. What? Hold on. I went backwards. Now this is where the little worded clip comes in. Oh. Guess that drops in there. So the tail goes that way. I was backwards before. Swims down around and then through here. I guess. I don't know if you're supposed to have tension on it. Um, and I also don't know if I have the bonnet on right. Let's see what happens. It is stuck. Oh shit. <laughs> Completely stuck. So I've done something wrong. Cool. Well, that's fun. All right, um, let's watch me try to figure out how to undo this terrible thing that's happened. This yarn is kind of splitty, but I mean, I didn't expect this bitch to get stuck. Off. Okay, let's pull it out. Yeah. 
Okay. Move that out of the way. I wish it just came with a manual. That would be easier for me. Who here likes reading manuals like I do? Everything should be fine. Hmm. I'm going to watch a troubleshooting video and another uh, loading the yarn. I'm going to rewatch the loading the yarn and the casting on with a bonnet video. Let's see. All right, so I watched some troubleshooting videos. I wonder if my problem was that I did not have the weight in the bonnet. Also, my whole setup seems backwards from hers. Her low, um, low needles are on the other side. And I really hope that's not a problem. So... Yes, I can't really load these ones, maybe? I don't know. All right, so here is my little weight in there. Load this like this. That. And then they put the medium weight in there, like that. really slowly. Are you supposed to load these on when you can? I don't even know. I'm going to do that. I hope that's right. Oh my god, it looks like it's working. This is so exciting. Wait, how do I use this? Okay, so the weight makes a big difference, apparently, which I already knew, too. Okay, that's really cool. All right, so I'm gonna light a candle in here while I crank this tube. And I'm also trying to watch Vlogmas, but the machine, the sock machine is really loud. Um, so I'm gonna try to link my headphones with the computer. That way I can hear, listen to people's Vlogmas while I crank the tube. First 
time this candle's ever been lit, so it took a minute. So ignore my scrappy trash, or crappy trash. This thing is now touching the ground, um, so I think it'll mess up the weight. So I'm gonna call it. I weighed my yarn to see how much I have left. I have about 15 grams left. So I can use that for a contrast color on another tube or something. Um, I got 201 rounds out of, what, 40 grams? 201 rounds should be more than enough to make socks. I like a 65 inch inch 65 ish round foot and a 60 round leg so I'll be able to I don't think that I'll need that many rounds for the, with this because the gauge is much different than my hand knitting gauge so I'm just gonna have to measure it and find out, but this is enough to make a pair of socks. Whether or not they'll be as long in the leg as my normal pairs, we will find out. And I forgot to say, I now need to watch a video on how to get this off of there. <laughs> All right, so they made it look very, very easy to remove in the video. She said, take your yarn like this she takes the weight out, but I absolutely cannot reach mine, so I will not be doing that. She says, put your yarn in the middle of the tube and pull down on the tube and it'll just pop off. And it sure did. So now I have this tube and I guess I'm going to feed some scrap yarn through these stitches so they don't fall apart. Handy dandy scissors. Leftover yarn. Okay, this is fascinating. I also don't know how to get this off. <laughs> Let's grab some contrasting scrap yarn. Where's my pink? I use this, uh, Hobie unicorn yarn for a lot of stuff because I have so much of it. So I think this could be cleaner next time. <laughs> is my first tube. It's a little short one. So maybe I will make some shorty socks out of it. I'll have to try cutting in my first heel. Very fun. Um, but I'm going to move this out to my kitchen table because it's tall. So next time I crank a tube, I will be able to crank maybe a whole 100 grams or closer to it. Because this is only 40 grams and I was already bottoming out. I already hit the ground. I think that's why the tension's a little different. I don't know if you can see it, but it's tighter here. So. Uh, yeah. That might be all I have for today, just so I can work on some other projects. And um, tomorrow, I will hopefully have some footage from the blacksmithing class that I go to. I'll have to ask my boyfriend to take a little video. So until then, bye.